Hey guys, today I'm doing a little tiny painting of this um, little clock tower that's down in the White Rock area. Um, I miss it all the time because it's sort of, <laughs> um, it's on it's on the side of a hill going downward and I'm usually looking at my feet when I'm going downhill so I don't really notice it most of the time. Anyway, so I took a picture of it and used that photo as a reference. As that's the easiest way to get references is just to walk around and take pictures of things because you never know when you're going to need something, right? So I started by drawing out the clock tower. Um, my perspective is a little wonky, I think. I'm not particularly good at architecture. I mean, I'm fine. Um, it's just that I'm not really, I'm not used to it. It's not a thing that I would normally do. I've been doing it a lot lately, but at first the tower is more or less exactly from the image. I tried for accurate colors, which I regret a little bit later, and I tried to get as many of the details correct at first it wasn't a super complicated little tower, I could do this. Um, it wasn't until after I had finished painting the tower itself <laughs> that I decided to go back in and say, oh wait, I kind of wanted to change some stuff. Which is a little bit harder to do after the fact. I'd forgotten that I wanted it to look a bit more flash, <laughs> you know, I wanted it to be a bit fancier. I wanted it to represent the affluence of the neighborhood a little more so I found that to actually be more challenging than I thought especially after I had already drawn and painted it out um, so I had added a little bit of gold paint to look like it was gilded in the legs and the clock frame um, I have some metallic red to make it look like the clock face is adorned in jewels, <laughs> which I don't really com think comes out that way, but that's what I'm going for. <laughs> and that's just kind of what happens when you don't really plan out the drawing part and the painting part ahead. Because when you have to go in later and add these details, it's a bit trickier when you don't when you realize that you don't really have a whole lot to work with here. I wanted to paint the morning glory vines to be climbing up and as if it was trying to take over the, the tower and pull it down and I didn't want to just paint a picture of a thing in a space I also wanted to kind of capture the mood and so in this tiny little painting I was trying to capture a sort of uprising kind of feeling the one thing I don't like about this painting though is the color scheme I don't know what it is like this exact ultramarine blue and this exact cold green color they are my least favorite colors <laughs> this combination just grosses me out i don't know why i just really hate it it doesn't make me hate the painting i still like the painting itself it just kind of has a really i don't know it almost kind of has a little bit of an old photograph feeling to it it's just really blue <laughs> so thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.